Okay, this is a little brief update with the Rite Gordian 26 inch. So I got a trigger job courtesy of Precision in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Nice clean four pound trigger. I've taken the liberty of replacing the stock Gordian pad with the Masai Mara pad. Now these pads are not hugely generous. We're talking about, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe five eighths of an inch thick. So it's not uh, a typical one inch pad. So we just don't have a lot of dis distance to work with. But let me see if there's any improvement because I think the uh, Masai Mara pad is more comfortable. And it is, no question. So um, those are one ounce loads, 1,300 feet per second, Federal Top Guns. Let's uh, use heavier stuff. These are Kent, ounce and a quarter, 1,350 feet per second. So that's about all I would ever use on wild pheasants. So let's run a few of those and uh, See what the recoil's like. It's not bad at all, really. Uh, this is just a thin, uh, a thin t-shirt, not much material here, and uh, the overshirt isn't very thick either. So this would be a nice, comfortable gun to carry at uh, 6 pounds, 9 ounces. The balance is good. The balance is very good. The price is good. Um, for chasing wild pheasants, you don't want a heavy gun. A little over six and a half pounds, yet uh, very manageable to shoot. This is probably the best uh, bang for the buck um, 12 gauge on the market. Certainly, uh, inertia gun wise, there's no question.